China is increasingly showing its ambition to dominate all areas in the field of military aviation, in addition to constantly producing the latest technology products to compete with the West and Russia. In the Chinese inventory, there are still the services of the imprints of the Soviet era, among which is Shenzhang J-8. Shenzhang J-8 is remembered as the first Chinese product designed and manufactured domestically. It would be remembered that from the 1950s, Chinese military technology depended entirely on the generosity of the Soviet Union. After this relationship abruptly ceased in 1961, China was stuck in technological backwardness. The Chinese attempted to create the J-8 with the idea of confronting the US F-105 bombers and Mitran's B-58 bombers. The j development research plan was established by the Shenzhang Aircraft Factory in May 1964 based on the first J-7 prototype. By July 1968, the first two J-8s were completed in July 1969 officially tested. However, the Control Revolution disrupted the program. It took another 10 years until 1979. It was completely designed and officially put into operation in 1981. According to NATO's codename, J-8 is also known as Finback, developed from J-7, a reverse engineer MiG-21. The J-8 had design lines similar to Soviet products. It was a design blend between MiG-21 Fishback and Sukhoi Su-15 Flagon. J-8 has a length of 21.39 meters, a wingspan of 9.34 meters, a height of 5.41 meters, an empty weight of 10.4 tons, a maximum takeoff weight of 18.9 tons. In the original J-8 versions, air intakes were placed at the nose, similar to the MiG-21 and tubular fuselage. From the J-82 version onwards, the design of the aircraft was quite different, with a new forward fuselage, intake ramps with splitter plates and no structure more reminiscent of the F-4 Phantom II or Sukhoi Su-15 to house a new, more powerful radar. The single cockpit is placed forward behind the long nose, giving the pilot a relatively good vision. The wings are low monoplane arrangements with extremely sharp angles. The empennage is a traditional arrangement consisting of a vertical tail fin, two horizontal planes and two ventral fins. It is believed that the material used on J-8 originated from MiG-21. After many upgrades, the J-8 was equipped with two Weijo WP-13B afterburning turbojet engines, producing 47.1 kN of drive thrust each and up to 68.6 kN with afterburner. A deep upgraded version such as FS-2M can reach a maximum speed of Mach 2.4 a combat range of 1,000 km and a service ceiling of 18,000 meters. In terms of armament, the aircraft was originally armed with cannons and 7 hard point for missiles, bombs, rockets, or fuel tanks. The original weapons layout of the J-8 was through 30mm x 31 cannons and 4 PL domestic missiles. The next generation was equipped with PL-4AB medium range air-to-air missiles, guided by semi-active radar, PL-2 and PL-5 short-range air-to-air missiles, guided by infrared. Attempts to produce PL-4Zs that simulated the US AIM-7B Sparrow were unsuccessful, so the missile was scrapped. In fact, the quality of this missile is on par with the K-5 missile on the MiG-17 PM and inferior to the Antor of MiG-21. The JH is only slightly better than the J-7 in terms of mechanical features and number of weapons, basically no difference in technology. 
at the time of its launch, the JS was prized by China for its superior functionality over the Soviet MiG-21. But in reality, at that time, China's aircraft manufacturing technology was too outdated. It was based on the J-7 design that was only on par with the MiG-19, so the JH later versions only reached the level of MiG-21. The radar chosen for the JH was the Type 204 Monoplans Fire Control Radar, a primitive ranging radar for daylight within visual range operations. On upgraded JH-2 models, it was replaced by US Avionix, APG-66 type radar system and ejection seat. The events at Tiananmen Square promoted this project. Although developed in the 1980s of the last century, until now JH-2 has always served actively in both the Chinese Air Force and the Navy. It remains one of the main Chinese fighters. There are about 300 JS in service. In addition to being an interceptor fighter, the JH-2 can also carry out ground attack missions. In more advanced variants, the JH-2 can also carry highly accurate guided weapons. For many years, China has succeeded in importing a variety of military intelligence from Russia. Today, the Chinese truly believe that, in many areas, their technology is advanced enough without the help of Russia. Self-developed fighters such as J-10, J-11, or J-20 are gradually replacing obsolete fighters. In the short term, the J-8 series will continue to serve under China's air and naval forces until it is completely replaced. The Shenzhen J-8 is the opening for Chinese military aviation industry. It is the foundation for China to make great progress today. My video for Shenzhen J-8 is over. Thank you for watching. Do you like this video? Please leave your comments to let me know. Thank you for being with me during the past time. Your encouragement is my motivation to continue making the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye.